Welcome back, and here's our update for the first part of the week. So here we have the uh, half bulkhead plug. It's now been uh, actually all sanded and waxed and pretty much ready uh, so we can pull the mold off of that. We just have to put the, um, the channel profile on there, which I believe we're going to try using that new uh, silicon rubber one rather than the wax profile we've been using before. So that'll be going on soon, and then we'll be able to pull uh, the mold from that plug. So that's kind of exciting. Didn't take too long to make the or to make that one new again. Next up, we have the fuselage mold that has had final preparations now for actually laying up the lower fuselage. So there, um, the green uh, sticky double-sided tape has been put down um, in preparation uh, for being able to vacuum bag that when it's done, and then uh, some tape just put over to cover that so it doesn't get any resin on it when we're laying up. And here's the uh, roof plug and that's um, completed sanding now the wet sanding is done and that'll be getting waxed shortly and today uh, being Tuesday we started working on uh, creating the mold for the keel and so first thing was to lay down the the black uh, base coat so this is after just the one layer has been put down here and then the next we had to put this we had the second layer down and we put the uh, resin mixture with the cabocil on there so sort of to fill out the wax profiles to get a nice sort of 45 degree angle on there and you see jeff's just finishing off there touching up but we had everybody was on doing that it didn't take too long to do but it's nice to get it all looking nice and this is at the end of the day so we put on um after putting on the the black coat we put on a single coat or single layer of uh, glass and then two layers of light carbon fiber and then peel ply. And tomorrow we'll be peeling off the peel ply and putting uh, four or five layers of heavy uh, glass on there or heavy carbon on there. Okay, so next up I wanted to give you a bit of an update on what's going on with the engine. So here is our design for our engine stand that we will be able to use to sort of statically run the engine. And it mimics the um, the configuration in the aircraft. So that slope thing there um, that you can see where the four holes are, that's basically the same angle as what the firewall will be inside the aircraft. And so we're actually having a third party weld this up for us. And then um, that company is gonna do the actual mount as well, the engine mount, which mounts to this stand. So here you can kind of see there with the engine in 2D format, kind of the orientation of that. And uh, it's just going to be welded up out of uh, two by two mild steel. Um, but we've had Mark uh, do all the FEA on it, so it's strong enough to handle all the, the loads of running the engine um, sort of static on the ground. And we're, we're just going to set it up outside the back of the shop, bolt it to the ground, and we'll be able to run it, run the engine with the prop on there once uh, everything's all dialed in with that. So here you can see um, that's basically how it kind of is, aligns inside the actual uh, aircraft model itself so there's the firewall there and then the engine behind it so you can see it's basically the same angle configuration so the the upshot of this is that once that engine's all dialed in on that stand theoretically we should just be able to unbolt them the four bolts from the stand on the engine mount and then bolt it up into the aircraft and then just hook up the wiring and everything else everything should work and fire up the same way as it does on the static stand so uh, hopefully uh, work will start on that stand here soon and then the engine mount will come after that and then uh, we'll have the engine actually mounted in on that stand and hopefully getting closer to having it running. So here's the finished uh, engine mount that uh, Mark, who's doing all our structural analysis, has come up with. we will probably have a few more tweaks to it, but this is the basis of it. So there's the four bolts that mount to the wall and then at the back is where the uh, gear, the belt drive will be. So that's our update for this first half of the week. Thanks for watching.